All right, first things first, let's remove the cover. We're working with a 7010 this time, so you can see it has a different cooling fan and heat sink for the processor. And we've already got the graphics card in here. Uh, it looks like garbage, so we're gonna smash it with a to hammer. Remove the existing graphics card. If you can see through all these cords and tags and junk, we've got a PCIe 16 slot. And this is a 16 slot, but it's wired for 4X speeds uh, because reasons. But we're not going to be plugging anything into it, so it's okay. We'll be using just this. The MSI is 7.16 inches long, and it's going to be a tight squeeze in here. Uh, the latch is just barely farther back. I think that's seven and a quarter inches. But the problem is going to be this bundle of madness right here with all these cords coming off the power supply. Um, and we're just gonna have to see if this fits. So lucky for you, I'm gonna take the chance so you don't have to. Of low profile brands, the MSI is actually the longest. So we're going to take a gamble here and try it in this Optiplex 7010. First, let's unbag our low profile MSI. And of course, even though it's low profile, it has the standard height bracket on it. As you know from my last MSI video, we have three screws to remove the standard height bracket. Two here and one right back there. Okay, now we have the low profile bracket on. And just a note about the state of video cards right now. They have ballooned in price over the past year. I had to pick this one up used and uh, it was still significantly more expensive than the new ones I purchased last year. So um, that leads me into the reason I do these videos uh, because I, I love you guys and I wanna make sure that um, you're making informed decisions when it comes to video cards. This is the longest one, um, so if it fits, in the 7010, that means the Zotac and the um, Gigabyte also fit. So here we go. So if you're coming into my house, you should take off your shoe first. And let's see if it fits. Moment of truth. These wires might be in the way. Now if I push it directly down, it's going to run into these wires here. So I'm going to see if I can push the wires out of the way without damaging anything and push the card down in place. There we go. That sound means that it is in. Now it is very tight up against these wires. It's not affecting the fan though. So let's boot it up, see if it blows up or if it works. And lastly, we just close this the cover back on. So if you like this type of video and want me to make more, I've added a Patreon link down in the description below and all proceeds go towards purchasing video cards, purchasing 
Dell computers just so that I can make these videos for you guys. All right, we've got one last thing to do. Just replace the old equipment with the new. And let's fire her up and see how she does. That's Peppa Pig. What the heck? All right, here's the initial screen. Looks low resolution, but if we wait for just a little bit, the drivers should install themselves. All right, the driver didn't download automatically, so I had to install a Wi-Fi adapter and go to the MSI website. And we're gonna get GeForce Experience. Oh, let it change my computer, please. And now hopefully this will download the latest drivers. Okay, NVIDIA wanted me to create an account just to download drivers, which is not necessary. So I just waited and it downloaded automatically. Now, of course, we'll agree to let them keep our firstborn. Got it. See how this graphics card runs on this machine. It's running. Let's see how we did. All right, we're scrolling down. Looks like everything did well. The graphics, um, it says it may struggle to render recent games at resolutions greater than 1080p. So this monitor I'm running it on right now is 1080p. Uh, so just a note with the 1050 Ti, if you're trying to run things at 4K at a high frame rate, you may have trouble. But if, you're, if your monitor's 1080p, it does just fine. So it looks like with an i5 processor, you're right in there with everybody. Um, the graphics card is not the best on the market. It costs a lot more than that. But if, like I said, if you're running games on a 1080p or less monitor, it should be just fine. Looks like for my next video, I should give the 1660 a try. So in summary, this looks like it would be great for emulation or if you're running recent games on a 1080p monitor or smaller.